Hello and welcome once again to some more World Snooker Championship 2004. This is part three of our classic matches mini series today. We have got the third of these classic matches, which is Ken Doherty versus Stephen Hendry. It's going to be an absolute cracker, so without further ado, let's get into it. So obviously this one was back in 1997 and following a period of dominance from Stephen Hendry of five consecutive titles. So surely Ken couldn't win this one, could he? The 1997 World Championship Final was Stephen Hendry's chance to win six finals in a row. All that stood in his way was the Irishman Ken Doherty looking for his first World Championship title. The score is 17-12 to Doherty. Win the match as Doherty by winning a single frame. Hendry to break. Well, here we go then. 17-12 up. All we need to do is win one frame. That's, uh... Whoops. I don't know why the, uh, the AI shot is off. It's... Fine, but uh, this is going to be uh, really tough actually because this is going to be the first sort of full frame I've played of this game for quite some time and you know Hendry can can clear up with one chance so just got to be a little bit careful here and of course try and figure out the pace of the table oh that's pretty good well Enjoy that one, because that's probably the best we'll ever do with a safety shot on this game. But there he is, Stephen Hendry. Very baby-faced Stephen Hendry at that. And here we go, he's just got down and played a lovely he's safety. He's played a good... Yeah. Whoops. We see enough of the left hand side of this. Yes, we can. We just want to flick this. A little bit of top spin. Similar speed to what we played last time. Here we go. This is beautiful. Look at the line on that. Awesome. Glued to that ball cushion. And hoping here that Stephen is going to make a little mistake. Just come around and have a little look. Straight down now. Look at that cue jacked up right in the air. Ooh, nearly hit the blue on his way back. And I'll tell That's you what. That's a good safe shot. I think we've got to... Take this red down There's the cushion. There's been little to choose between these players for the entire tournament. And this match is really showing that. Yeah. I mean, play it with, with screw back, so... That's with an element of safety, but here we go. Yep, red's He's in. well to put that one in. And that's an absolute cracker. One. The audience didn't like it, but <laughs> I liked it. Well, chance to win the match. Tough blue. <coughs> but here we go. Oh, no, the cue He's ball's gone in as well. In. Wow, that, that was unlucky, I think. I mean, how the ref just produced a cue ball there. He didn't even go over to the middle pocket and take it out. But, I think uh, that deserves another look. Yeah, maybe just hit it a little bit hard and... Uh, Stephen will take this red to the left corner and spread these reds like blood butter, as Chinny would say. So here we go. Keep an eye on these reds. Keep an eye on the cue ball. And you can pretty much One. guarantee we will not get another shot this frame. This should and that's be why we had to take shot. the aggressive shot. 
Good luck getting on a red here. And he played it with a lot of top and left hand side. Six. Is he on a red? I'm not sure. Maybe a red through the gap next to the black spot. Yeah. Wrong. Or oh, is he playing a plant? I think he's playing a plant. Well, what a shot! Oh, what really a cracker that is! Killing there. From Stephen Hendry. The six time champion of the world at this point. Yeah, that's a cracking well. long blue, and this is what I mean. I don't think we're going to get another shot here in this frame, but uh, hey, we've got six frames to do it. Well, here we go. Straightforward pot there. Nice shot from Hendry there, round off two cushions for this pink into the right middle. He's done well to put that one in. Good shot. But it's still a fairly awkward table because the, the black doesn't go. Certainly into the Right corner pocket. Ball. That's not bad, but he's gone away from this the reds is here. as good a culmination to the tournament as you could wish to see. It's a beautiful little shot 26. from Hendry. Oh, getting down like Mark Selby there. Having a good squint at the table. It's just great 87. watching the AI play a normal break. You, you know, in Super 19, you just wouldn't see this sort of level of break from uh, one of the AI players. But it's going to play this with a load of left-hand side, I think, to check this up. Oh, don't think he's quite gone far enough, so a little bit unlucky there for Hendrik. There's a, another red. Just got to be a bit careful with the cue ball here. Here we go. Oh, a little Good flick shot. off the red. He's okay. I don't think he'd have been on anything had he not flicked the red. But he's running out of good reds to play on. That's a lovely shot, though. Screw off okay. the side cushion. You can see Ken was Shots happy with like that. This are no problems for players of this quality. <laughs> Straightforward pot there. I yeah. think it's fair to say that this match will be going down in the pages of history. What an easy shot for a professional like him. So I can see two more loose reds. Oh, is he going to play a cannon? Oh, he's missed the red. Well, I was not you expecting that. Often see him miss a shot like that. That could be the lifeline we were after in this match. Good safety. But look at these reds and the black. Not going to be easy. Mm. Truly he's playing safe here, but maybe he's aiming towards that red. I'm not sure. The red closest to the right corner pocket. Mm. 
well, a little bit fortunate there, to say the least. That was not a, a great shot from Stephen. That red's come available. Has the blue come to our rescue, though? I think it has. Well, tense times now. Potentially, you could cut the, the red to the, the right of the back black spot into the left corner. We'll soon find out. I think he played it, but... There's a shot to nothing. Where's the cue ball going to finish? Nice safety. Mm. Has he covered that red? Has the yellow come to his rescue? He goes back to his seat shaking his head. Maybe that's not going to be the case. <coughs> nope, we can see enough of it. So this is a big shot in the context of the match. Because if we pot this, lots of power go into those reds. This could be the chance we were looking for. Here we go. Hold on to your hats, everybody. Red's in. Where's the black going? Ooh. <laughs> wow, that was close. What a cracker that was. Just coming around to have a look. That's not quite a plant, so... Just going to have to be very, very careful here. And I think, they, you know, they got the, the aim and aid right on this game. <laughs> Shots like this are, are fairly straightforward, so give you a longer aim and aid. But that long pot that we just had, it was only one little triangle, so... Yeah, just got to make sure this drops it. They're so tight, the pockets on this game. Yeah, but it does go Seven. in, that's a cracker. Something comes back onto its own spot now. And this is an interesting shot coming up here. Can we possibly play into these two reds? That's what I'm looking at. And that's exactly what we got. Where's that red going to finish? I think it's okay. I think the pink still passes. So this could be the chance. That we've been waiting for. Whoops. Just screw over for the red into the same pocket. An easy shot for a professional a, like a him. Good chance at this red. Here's the cue ball. Just got to be careful with these. Yeah, it goes in. Big deep screw though. Fifteen. Can we cut the black in? Yes, we can. Whoops. Just need to make sure we hit it hard enough. I'll flip on the blue, but it doesn't matter. That's fine. This is good. This is good stuff. I'm actually really enjoying this. It's making me... Almost reconsider which career mode I do. No, I think we'll start off with all five and maybe work our way back to these games. Yeah, it's a lovely, lovely shot. 23. He should have no trouble with this shot. Gonna try and hold the pink spot area. 
29. Yeah, that's good. Pink goes on the blue spot. But we're, we're coming up to within striking distance of winning this match. Because it's just that green that's looking like a, a little issue at the Strike moment. 30. This is such a tense game with everything to play for. Just playing the sort of stun run through here. Yeah, that looks okay. 37. I like to be high on the black. Yeah. So may well play this with plenty of top spin. He's done well to put that one in. Oh, it's just not quite gone far enough. Wow, well, would you believe it? Hmm. I think maybe the, the snooker's in order here. Oh, the double kiss has stopped the snooker. Well, Hendry could pop this. He seriously could. I think he'll try. Well. No, just the, the safety and a very intelligent one at that. Yeah, I think just the... The roll up here, no heroics. It's happy for Stephen to play the aggressive safety shot here. And he may well leave this red. Oh, he's hit the knuckle. Well, wow, that's a big shock. So Stephen Hendry. <coughs> Well, is that going to be his last shot? Mind you, this isn't an easy pot. At all. It's got to go in. Just going to drop it in. Oh, that's always a... A, a, a relieved sight when you see the, the camera there. over the pocket because you know it's going to go have in. No trouble with this shot. Mm. Can we play the pink here? It's not an easy pot, don't get me wrong, but the positional side of the shot is a lot better. I'm trying to def definitely avoid the. <laughs> In off this time and very close to Seven. getting it, but that pink goes in. And this is now a great chance. Look at Stephen Hendry, he's not happy with that. Referee, as we worked out in uh, the first episode, 79 years of service that, that referee's put in. Obviously up to this point, not quite that uh, long. 57. But, um, you know. <laughs> Nine. And now, just got to be a bit careful of the in off here. Yeah. Twelve. So, the long straight brown will put us in front. hate these types of shots on this game because these pockets are so tight but here we go it's not there and it was actually a long way off 
This must rank as one of the best games the question I've is, ever can seen. Can see enough of this to pot it? If he can, that's devastating. And he could. Four. Well, are we going to get a better chance than that against Steven? I would suggest not. Oh, my <laughs> word. <laughs> that's gutting. But we missed the brown by quite some way in the end, so that's the way it goes. There. Let's have another. So well done to Stephen Hendry. He's reduced his arrears. It's 17-13 now. I think that deserves another look. Well, here we go. Ready for another frame now. And uh, well, we're breaking off this time. I don't think that's going to be hard enough. I forget that you have to hit shots so much harder than you think on this game. I haven't said that. This looks pretty much perfect. I might have even angled him, to be honest. No. To just have the safety available. He's playing tactically here. Obviously, Joe Johnson uh, must have got a lot of inspiration from whoever's commentating right now. Yeah, this looks pretty good. We'll settle for that. So, come on, Stephen. Give us a chance, will you? Just playing the thin one, I think. Played it a little bit more aggressive than I expected. Good safety play. And he has left a possible chance here into the right corner. Okay, it's a very difficult pot, but uh, if it goes in, got ourselves a chance. So here we go. Hold on to your hats. It's there. Where's the black gone? Oh, wow. Can you believe One. it? I don't think we're on anything here. Maybe maybe the yellow is our only choice. Which just seems absolutely bizarre. But this is a very tough shot. Gotta risk it though, because there's no easy safety. Yellow's in! Where's the green going? It's okay. Three. Well. This is uh, awesome so far. Lots of top spin. Try and get into that cluster. That's what we do. But, oh, Four. once again. Unless we can see the pink. That could be end of break. Oh, well, we can. We can see the pink, and it's almost identical to the brown that we missed in the last frame. Mm, this is a tough shot. It really is. It's pretty good. Just got to be careful of this red as well. Oh, it's there. Where's the red gone? It's okay. Ten. Well, a lot of relief when uh, the camera angle changed there. could do with getting rid of that black I think left and what happened in the last frame we're not taking anything for granted here this black certainly not easy because it's trapped right on the cushion there so this has got to be accurate 
Well, it won't go in. But it has got in. How's our lock? Hmm. We may have a red to the right middle. Other than that, nothing. But you can clearly see there's a gap for that red to go to the middle pocket. So here we go. <laughs> this is a toughie. This is a real toughie. Just got to drop it in and hope for the best. It's there. <laughs> He's done well to put that one in. Well, again, not easy. We've got the blue, possibly the brown. I think the brown might be the slightly easier shot. Here we go. Didn't look at the green actually. The green might have been even better. Oh, we've missed the brown. Well, can you believe it? Only the 19 break there, and Stephen Hendry comes to the table. Straightforward pot there. Hmm. This may well be our toughest classic match yet. Four. To win a full frame of snooker. Not just the colours, but that, that brown was close. I thought potentially it was going to drop, but uh, just the pace, I kept it out in Fine. the end, I think. But hey, Hendry will not be taking anything for granted. He missed a couple of fairly straightforward pots in the last frame. So, nine. You know, with a black out of commission, pink only available in the middle pockets. This might not be the easiest chance, but as you can see, the pink does go to the left corner there. Ten. So, you'll probably play for that now. Yep, straight down. Playing it. Oh, and he's brought the black into 16. play. What a lovely shot that was. That was a lovely idea and well executed. 17. But it's not over till it's over. 23. But the um, story of two browns so far. I think the black does go, so yeah, he does 24. just drop that in for the black. Straight forward pot there. Hmm. That's not the best shot though, must admit. He's done well to put that one in. This should be an we easy We will get shot. a good little look at these reds. I think that top red does go. Straight forward. But whether the AI there. will detect that is another matter entirely. Forty. So, easy ones out of the way. Forty-seven. Well, no, he must have detected that that goes. Yeah. Easy as you like. 48. Cue ball was going dangerously close to the corner pocket. One good positional shot here. And this frame is over. 55. Someone puts him 46 points in front. Sorry, 36 points in front. So red and black needed. It's a good shot. 56. It's a very nice shot. So just this black needed. 63. There it goes. These players are really proving that they're at the top of their game. So it's going to go to 17-14 now and... 
64. You know, although it's not time to panic just yet. We have had a couple of chances and not took them. Oh, he misses the black. Which is a bit of a surprise. Really have potted that one. So 45 points in front. So it's only three snookers. But yeah, I think possibly we want to keep the, the red on the table. And push the red towards the black. Let's see how we get on here. Mm, double kiss. Yeah. Well, gone wrong there. It's gone very wrong. Straightforward pot there. So it is going to be seventeen fourteen. Eight. It's a lovely shot from Stephen. Ten. It's just so great to see the AI playing as you'd expect them 13. to <laughs> 22. So a couple of nice breaks from Stephen. 28. And Stephen Hendry has closed his the gap to three, but still needs another four to upset us and 35. win the 1997 World Championship. It's 17-14 now. Okay, here we go then, Stephen Hendry, breaking off in frame 32 of this match. Will he leave us anything to have a go at? No, he won't. That's it's a, a good break. It's a decent break off. And I've thoroughly enjoyed this so far. Okay, it's not going to plan. And we got all so close with that brown in the first frame of this episode, but, uh, you know, we're battling well with the six-time world champion, and look at that, that's another well-paced safety shot, and it may even be a snooker here. Stephen Hendry, well, he can just get to a thin edge of this. Where's the cue ball going to go, though? Oh, perfectly safe, and look at this. That's an absolute That's cracker. That's a good, safe shot. Some more like Emperor Palpatine than Ted Lowe at the moment, but, uh, well, it's another good safety. Stephen Hendry in a, a little bit of trouble here, because he may well hit the blue on his way back if he plays thin. It looks like he's playing a thick safety, which can always go wrong. Mm, well, he won't be too impressed because he has left a possibility, but that shows you know the patience Stephen Hendry has. <laughs> uh, but this isn't a, a straightforward shot. We're going to have to play a deep screw on this, which makes the the pot missable. At this pace, this has got to go right into the heart of the pocket. Here we go. This could be the shot. And that's a, an absolute Sweet cracker. Pot there. Good pot. One. Does the blue pass? If the blue passes, we're in a good position. And I think it does. I think it does. So, yeah, got to play it. You feel 
Here we go. Into this crucible theater. Six. Not like you often see fans down that end of the table. <laughs> I mean, it's certainly not a, a, an auditorium like this, is it? Uh, look at that. <laughs> oh, it's funny, isn't it? Right. Don't think the, uh, the black goes, but we can have a little look. Hmm. Well, maybe it does. So, just drop this in. Know that either way we should end up on the blue. Looks okay. This should be an easy shot. I think it does go. Just about. Yeah. 14. Now, where does the black go? That's the big question. Mm. I'm going to have to play this with a bit of right hand side. This can make you look foolish on this game. But it goes in. And that worked out pretty well. 15. And the blue, as we know, definitely goes. So once again, we're off and running here. With what might be the chance to win Ken's first world title. Straightforward pot there. Got to time this well. This is such a tense game with everything to play for. I'm going to have to play this with a lot of screw. Oh, that's certainly not what you want to do. Just a little bit of right hand side here. Try and swing it through the gap. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We've got the green. 21. Might be able to pop the pink. Don't know. Yeah, should be able to. A classic cough. Um, don't know if you knew this, but uh, World Championship Snooker 2004 did predict the, the COVID-19 pandemic. Oh, where's the cue ball going? Well oh, it's okay. Twenty-seven. <laughs> it's okay. Right. This is as good a culmination to the tournament as you could wish to see. Yeah, that's a, a tough red. Looking at this one and thinking this might be the best option. Lots of power, lots of top spin. Try and bring the black into play. Here we go. This could be the winning shot here if this goes right. Ken playing with his left hand. Not often you see that. Didn't bring the black into play though. 28. So not perfect. This should be an easy shot. Into that a little bit too much. 33. What are we on? Might not be on anything here. That's that blue covered that red. I think it has done. Mm. Well, well, well. What a disaster. Possibility of this red to the left middle. It's a very, very tough one, though. Yeah, that's a very tough shot. But I don't see what other option we have. It's not an easy safety. 
Certainly not an easy safety. This is so tough. This is very similar to the brown that we missed in the last frame. Just got to drop it in and hope for the best here. Here we go. No, it's not there. So Stephen Hendry, another chance to pull another frame back. But the question is, can he pop one? Well, he can pop this one. He's done well to put that one in. But 33 points isn't a bad lead looking at where the balls are on this table. You know, he's got to bring the black into play at some point. Seven. Good shot to get the, the pink squeezing past that red. But the black, of course, out of commission. Got to play a cannon on that at some point. Straightforward push there. Isn't... Always easy. Yeah, nice shot. Fourteen. Fifteen. So. There's probably three more easy reds before we start 18. to get to the problem well, balls. The standard has been so good. It's a shame there has to be a loser eventually. Yeah, I think he can get past the green for this red to the middle. Yeah, as you can see, straight down. He's done well to put that one in. So, good little 19. shot, you know. Good little shot from Stephen. Tough pink to the middle, though. Twenty-five. Knocks it in with a plum, and now has a chance to knock one of the awkward reds in. And yeah, he is going to be playing this one with the rest down the cushion. Played it 26. well. So this pink and one more red to level the scores. Thirty-two. But it's not over yet. As I say, that red next to the black, the red up by the green, both very, very difficult, and also that red to the right 33. of the black and red. Played that nice. Played that nice. But this is such a tough shot. Thirty-nine. That was. Forty-three. Let me get onto that red to the left of the black. Oh, what a shot that is from Stephen Hendry. What a shot. And surely that is going to be where this frame ends now. 18 points to lead. 51. These two reds with colours. It'll be snookers required. And what an unbelievable clearance this would be. He's playing the more difficult red. This could go wrong. Nah, knocks it in beautifully. 52. But good luck getting on to the next red here. If he plays the yellow, and he is playing the yellow, this is surely going to be difficult. 52. Oh, he's missed the yellow! And look at the right-hand side! 
Well, he's left us a chance here. Okay, it's not easy. But this is a chance. I can't believe he missed the yellow there. That's unbelievable. One. It's a tough red. And now the yellow over the pocket. You've got to say this is this is a glorious opportunity. But we've said that before, and positional play is so tough on this game. Well, nothing Eight. is guaranteed. Now, how do we approach this? Do we try and get onto the green into the <coughs> corner? I think we probably do. A little bit of stun. I think we should be able to do it. Here we go. It's the right shot to play. Kiss the green. Have we snuck it ourselves? I think we have. Oh, no. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. I'm going to try and move the green towards the side cushion, white behind the brown. And that's gone completely wrong. That couldn't have went worse. Oh, dear. So Stephen Hendry's gonna win another frame here, and this is this is tense. This is tense. It really is. Straightforward pot there. We'll see, no way back to the table now unless Stephen was to miss this blue, which he doesn't, of course. Twelve. So three frames left. I was certainly wasn't expecting this this one to be. A long 18. one, but uh, it's certainly turning out that way. Well, what an excellent three I frames there's, that's been played. We've had chances in all of them. That was possibly our best chance yet. But, um, alas, we did not do it. And... to be careful now that red has come out and that cue ball is nowhere near where it needs to be mm. what could that be uh, a One. fatal mistake in this match if Stephen Hendry gets into those reds and gets it back to 17-16 you would certainly wouldn't bet against him at that point Yeah. He's done well Perfect half ball on the black. You just watch these reds absolutely splat around the table now. Oh, he didn't play it. Sixteen. Wow. Oh. It's not often that the the AI don't play a split on this game, so I'm very, very curious as to why he didn't there. But He's well, not giving away anything with that shot. shot. It's a really Good shot. I think we can just about get to the side of the pack. Just going to be rolling up to it though. Certainly not taking any risks with it. That looks pretty good. This is such a tense game with everything to play for. Oh, and he is just rolling into them. Is he going to be touching? Might be. No, not quite. Should be able to just flick off these reds and back round. Well, 
Look at the blue. Where's the blue going? Over the pocket. What a match, ladies and gentlemen. An incredible display of snooker. As good as you'll ever see. The standard of play here is absolutely superb. The old Oh, I accidentally skipped what he was saying. That was his longest line ever. But I tell you what, Stephen Hendry, he's left nice a pot. safety. And he keeps doing this and it keeps working for him to be honest, giving us the chance. And then letting us make the, the mistakes. So Trying to drop this in, get on the black. Should have the blue as a backup if not. There goes the red. How's the cue ball? It looks pretty good. We'll settle for that. That's an absolute this should be cracker. An easy shot. And now, just got to drop this in. Dead weight. Eight. Don't think this red passes, so that could be end of break. Yeah. <coughs> One good pot needed here. Let's keep this break going. Yeah, I don't. I don't think the black goes to the right corner. So play is a shot to nothing. It's there. Where's the cue ball? It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. This is as good a culmination to the tournament as you could wish to see. Yeah, playing the, the brown here because I think that the blue, you risk possibly snookering yourself. So just drop the brown into the middle. Oh, for goodness sake, why do we keep missing that Maybe shot? Maybe he's not concentrating well, but that's a very poor shot. Mm, yeah, that could be a very big mistake, and I'm actually going to get to the point where we skip the AI shots for a little bit, just while Steven's knocking in the obvious shots. Um, I'll turn it back on when it gets a little bit more... Strange, he's just going to be playing the, the safety here. Yeah. Let's just have a little look at that one. So let's let's have the, the thick safety. Look at that Again, it's risky. Replay. It's very, very risky. Because if he hit the blue there, he was leaving us on. I don't think he's left anything easy other than this red. Possibly. Very tough shot. It's got to go in if we play it. And you know me, of course I'm going to play it. Here we go. Got to go in. It's there. How's our luck with position? It's pretty good. One. Now then, another chance to win frame, match and championship. Surely we can't keep messing this up. Seven. That's pretty good. I think the, this should I think be an easy does shot. Just go into the opposite corner, so just try and force this across. Yeah. Eight. That's pretty good. Well, I didn't check that at all. I managed to knock it in. Straightforward pot there. Fourteen. I think that's okay. Got a red to the right corner. <coughs> the thirteen points behind. So it's going to be another close frame. This 15. one. Fifteen. Mm, not quite where we want to be, but should be all right. But this brown, have we even potted the brown today? <laughs> it seems to be causing a big problem for us. That one goes in. Now, does this red pass the pink? If not, 19. might be end of easy break. 
I don't think it does. Nope. Can still cut this red in though. It's very, very thin. But we'd be unlucky not to get another shot should it not go in. It's there. Oh, the other red nearly went in as well. Twenty. Good shot. Just playing a stun down to an area. I'll do. If we can see the red just below the black, I might take that on. Because if we can get rid of this red, it's an incredible chance. So here we go. Yeah, played it well. These players are really proving that they're at the top of their game. Now I've got to screw the the blue back here. Screw it back. Try and get the cue ball pretty much where it is now, if possible. <laughs> if not, we've got the red over the left middle. Blue's in. Cue ball looks okay. That's fine. That's fine. I think we can pop the red just beneath the black spot, and that puts us at four points into the lead now. All right, this red isn't an absolute gimme. It's one that we should be fairly comfortable in potting. You'd like to think it's guaranteed position as well. Oh, for goodness sake. Well, I thought that well, was in all the time. Easy shot, but that could really give his opponent a chance. It is so tough. The pockets are so tight on this game. Well, got the red on the side cushion. That could prove to be an issue for Steven. One. The red next to the pink, not so much. I think it does pass into this left corner pocket. We'll soon find out here. Great shot. It's a great Eight. shot. Fabulous. This must rank as one of the this best red games go. I've ever seen. Yeah. There it is. He's done well to put that one in. Good luck getting on that final red though. As I say, on the cushion. Straight forward. This is such a tough 16. pot. He's gonna attempt here. Well, you could hear a pin drop in here. Every. He's taking it on. It's there. Well, what a pot! And the it looks like we're going into another frame here. This is tense. This is tense. Twenty-one. And there's no way Hendry's going to miss any of these, so we are going to have to gear ourselves up for another frame once again. And he just keeps knocking them in. Unfortunately, and he's now closed the gap to just one. It's 17-16 now. Hendry to break, and he must have hit the blue. And this break off. I just can't believe how many chances we've let go here. Yeah. It's not the best shot, but we got away with it. Stephen may well play a very attacking safety here on these reds. And he does win. that red goal? Oh, my word. He's flipped a red. Oh, oh we're going to decide, game. aren't we? Unless he misses this. It's a tough yellow. Into the right middle. But he knocks it Three. in. Nearly knocked the red in with it. But look at these reds. This is perfect Hendry territory. 
So I think we're going to a decider. So I'm going to skip the AI shots to try and reduce the episode length a bit because this is getting ridiculous now. Wow, they're loving it. Well, I'm not loving it. I'm just looking at this. He might struggle to get over the line. Well, it's going to be 71 in front with 67 remaining, and he can see this to the left middle, so... Frame over, we are going into a decider, folks, and it's going to be a sentry from Stephen Hendry to take us into it. Have we had our last laugh in this match? It would be gutting if we lost this after the amount of time we've put into it. Oh, what a sentry. It's going to be... A one three three. One hundred and thirty three. Absolutely brilliant from Stephen Hendry, and he's forced to decide here. Yeah, I think we we got to go for a quite attacking break off. Really, can't afford to sit back and defend. That's pretty good. That's very good, in fact. That's a good break. It's what you want in a decider. Getting that cue ball near to the brown. There he goes. He's trying to play the snooker here. That's a good. Very nearly got it. Pretty good, I think we've covered that red on the right hand side. It could be the red that we potentially get a go at if Stephen doesn't play the best safety here. I think he'll try and open the reds up. He knows that we've struggled to. Well, he didn't. I was going to say we've struggled to close He's out the victory. A good safety shot. He has played a, a very nice one there. Snooker 19, you might get down and play the swerve. Not an option on this game. Oh, don't want to hit the yellow, and we have done. But that red going over the pocket might help us. Don't think Stephen will play the plant, will he? No, it doesn't look like it, so... Gives us a possible chance of playing the plant ourselves. Oh, where's that cue ball going? I don't think we're going to need to play the plant. Nice He's left safety. it up. Well. What a chance this could be. He's going to have to play it full pelt, lots of top spin. Hope for the best here. It went through the gap. One. Do we play the snooker here? I'm looking. I don't like the brown for obvious reasons. Yeah, I think it could well be just the the layup here. Yep, yeah, that'll do. That'll do very nicely. It was a good There's no easy way gap to find. I mean, I can't believe it. You look at that. How did it find the gap? Well, Hendry coming off. Oh my word! He nearly. What that. a match, ladies and gentlemen! An incredible display of snooker, as uh, good as you'll <laughs> ever. See. Imagine if he'd uh, if he'd fluked that. 
and that was our last shot. I wouldn't put it past the AI on, on these games, to be honest. That red does go if we can get to it. We can. And I think the black goes as well, so this could be an early chance here. I'm going to decide it. The red's in. One. Now just just going to double check the black. Yeah, you can see clearly clear daylight there. So. Oh, I didn't check whether it was definitely going in. I did though. Straightforward pot oh, there. Goodness. Black. Black on its spot should be fine. I think we can avoid the black when screwing this one back. Yeah, we could. Nine. This should be an water. easy shot. Played that well. Sixteen. It was a good shot. Yeah, having to bash these in, I, I don't trust this game. Mm, chance to go into them here. This really is a, a good chance if, if this goes to plan. But you can guarantee a red will go in or something. I played it fairly well, but I don't think 24. we're on anything. Certainly on nothing easy. Well, I mean, if we're if we're not on anything, then maybe we we play safe. But does that red go? Coming around to have a look. Maybe it does. Maybe it does. Certainly very tight. But if we play. It Fairly soft, it might just drop in. And there it goes, He's great done shot. Well to put that one in. Okay. This is very much the chance now that we've been talking about. Although we've already had chances. This is probably the best one. Straight forward pot there. If we can get to this red to the left middle, I think that's probably the one to go for. And we can. <coughs> Doesn't look like it though, does it? It's crazy. Oh dear. Thirty-three. I think I think we'll be all right. I think the these blacks aren't so bad in this game. Yeah. Whereas in Snooker nineteen, this would be almost impossible. Certainly on the harder difficulties. In this game should be okay. Is it going to reach? Just about. <laughs> wow, that was close. That was close. The audience are on the edge of their seats here. Straightforward pot there. Carefully enough to miss this black. Very easy to do. Let's go 49 in front. And it goes in the heart of the pocket once 48. again. And now you look at these reds. This should be an easy shot. You can't 
see us not doing it from here, but after what's happened in this match, you have no idea. But this will put us 50 in front. Straightforward pot there. Just about held up with the black there. You just got to be a bit careful. Fifty-six. We're okay. Just pulled up in time. Fifty-six points in front. Still plenty on the table, though. Eighty-three. Is that yeah? Yeah, seven reds. Eighty-three. So. Fifty-seven. I think it's fair to say that this match will be going down in the pages of history. So these, of course, were the unseen bits of the 1997 final. We made a bit of a meal of it, haven't we? But nearly there now. Just red and colour needed after this. Pink goes onto the green spot. That's fine. There goes the pink. <coughs> so, red and colour needed. Use that red He's to good effect. Well to this black down. to become the 1997 World Snooker Champion. Here we go. And we've done it. Oh my word, we've made a meal of it. <laughs> but in this decider, we've played very, very well. Stephen Hendry played a poor safety shot. And, well, you would suspect that he's not going to get another. But that's not... Assume that until we've potted another couple of balls. Straightforward pot there. So this black to go 80 points in front with just 59 remaining. Surely that would be the point Stephen Hendry would offer his hand in concession. 79. Doesn't often play on for this many snookers. But to be fair, he's not often the one chasing them. <laughs> this is a, a tough little cutback. This to keep the hopes of a ton alive. Very, very difficult, of course. That's there. Where's the cue ball? Oh, wow. well, it goes in. But it doesn't matter because I think we've won the match, beating Stephen Hendry by 18 frames to 17. Let's see. Let's have another look at that on the replay. Well, we're going to see that. I mean, that's the, the best few ball physics I've seen. Is he going to concede? Yes, he does. And there you go. We beat the six-time world champion by 18 frames to and 17. Let's congratulate our runner-up, Stephen Hendry. Our winner, ladies and gentlemen, and the new world champion, Ken Darcy. Oh, what a match. What a match. And we've done it in the end. <laughs> I must admit, once we... Uh, <laughs> once we got to the decider, I had no... 
faith that we were going to do it. But we, we managed it in the end. I think we were unlucky with a lot of the shots we missed. Um, you know, but I'm happy with that. Let's see how we get on uh, with the video. Of course, it'll mean probably copyrighted content, but it's not one I've seen before. I don't think I ever managed to complete this, uh, this one against Henry. Because Henry is just so good on this game. Um, it, you know, maybe didn't uh, didn't happen for me when I was younger. But uh, yeah, we've got Doherty versus John Higgins in the next one, which will be an interesting one. And I wonder who we're playing as. Are we playing as Higgins? Yeah, we are playing as Higgins. And then Henry Williams, uh, Ronnie against John Ebden versus Henry, and Mark Williams versus Ken Doherty in the end. But uh, let's have a little look at uh, what this video is that we've unlocked. Here we go. There's no better feeling in the world. So Ken Doherty thoroughly deserves this World Championship title. He's a great friend of Stephen Henry and Stephen Henry will be back, I'm sure, to claim his seventh. But at the moment, Sheffield and the Crucible Theatre belongs to Ken Doherty, who beats Stephen Henry 1812 to become the 1997. Well, there you go. Okay, uh, not a not a very long one, but uh, I'm I'm not that bothered. So Ken Doherty uh, beating Stephen Hendry by 18 frames to 12 in real life. We made a little bit more of a meal of it, but it was still a very fascinating match. If you've enjoyed that, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for more uh, World Snooker Championship 2004 content. We're going to do uh, the final. Um, five uh, classic matches before we move on to anything else snooker related so um, expect those uh, over the next few days and uh, hopefully you're having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye